I did uh, from week two to week three of this mesocycle. We are focused on this day per usual, so we will go ahead and go off of that. What I did, um, which this is cool because I actually trained at a different gym here, here, and then on the third week I was actually at another different gym because I went to Missouri. Um, this one was in Montana. This was my regular gym, Missouri. And I'm actually already finished, but this was uh, regular gym again. So weight seemed to stay consistent, but really it was a little heavier. This way here, uh, the Smith that I used in Missouri was also a floating Smith, so I just kept the weight relatively similar. I'm pretty sure there's actually 285 here. I wanted to make those modifications during. So I did 275. It was like, oh, this is a little lighter. And this floating Smith seemed to be slightly lighter and it was pretty janky. So I did 285. But what I did was, as you'll see, rep matched the first two sets because I went from two sets to three here. So I rep matched the first two at 285. Boom, 1513. And then I did a, th a third set with 10 reps at two RIR because this is week three of the Mesa cycle of a four week block or a four to one paradigm. Um, same thing up here. You'll see that I did three sets, 130. Um, I think the Cedar Lake curl here was also 130, but I actually counted it as heavier because the Cedar Lake curl here felt heavier. So I counted it technically as like 140, which is why I rep matched here, 17, 16, 15, 12. And it was all about two RAR because I increased the weight by 10 pounds. Um, the incline superset flies here. I used the same weight. I went up to three sets and I did 12, 12, 11. Um, I actually increased one rep here, 11, 11, and then 10 slash nine. Uh, finally, three sets of cable curls, 120, 12, 11, kept the weight the same, went up a set, 12, 11, and then 10 at two RAR. So that was the way that I progressed from this week to this week. Total pushing sets overall went up, I believe, three sets from last week because the soreness was meh. Uh, from this session up here to the session down here, soreness was like, ah, I, I can recover pretty well. And soreness overall was fine. Performance overall was fine. Pump from these sessions was decent. And then uh, pump from these sessions was pretty damn good. So I only went up uh, in weight and stuff over here. We'll talk about that next week. But that's how I progressed. Uh, it's, I'm glad I got to kind of do these in like three basically different gyms because now you guys can see how I do this when I travel. Again, it's about working up to a weight that you feel is about right if you don't have the exact same machine. If you can find the exact same machine, it's much better, but um, what you feel is about right is pretty good. It's obviously the best to stay in a consistent location, but if you cannot, then this is just fine. Uh, seems to progress pretty well for me, and I, I think that uh, you guys can do the same. So uh, questions, comments, and, and the bottom are just fine. I'll answer every single one of them. This is a bit shorter of a loom video. Um, we'll discuss more in depth next time. And then the Mesa cycle or the, the, the video after this, uh, focusing on Mesa cycle, Mesa cycle variations, I will try to pull it up and, and put the variations in, uh, as you guys can see here, I'll do a video where I just go through and I'm like, oh, I'm changing this to this and this is why this to this and this is why I'm keeping this in here and this is why. So it'll be a lot of, uh, It'll probably be a bit longer of one, but this one is going to be a little short and sweet. You guys saw how I progressed uh, week one, week two to week three, why I did it. Hopefully it's pretty clear. If it's not clear, just ask questions in the bottom and I can end the loom videos in the future. I can um, uh, just put those, those questions in if you guys have uh, some pretty good ones that I think are definitely worth speaking on inside of the video so more people can be clear on these things. But awesome. Thanks. So today we came to Troy, Missouri to CD Wise Fitness. I'm with my family. The gym I trained at for 15 years wouldn't let me in due to COVID. So we had to drive 30 minutes up the road. That's my mom and my little brother. I'm going to get them in some of the session today. I have my push session that I've been putting on YouTube and let's get after it and I'll explain progression and all that good stuff before this probably. So. Catching and it goes so down. Fine. Okay. Good. So people ask me a lot of times, like, how can you do foam roll? How can you don't do cross ball shit like that? So what those are? 
are the tools that you can use basically intercession between sets to create this proprioceptic feedback mechanism to tell yourself there's pain in an area so that your body can adjust to that area and just make sure that you're not in that impinged position or whatever is going on. It just kind of corrects it through the session. And with this in mobility drills, you can, you can work on mobility with this. You can work on the impingement positions with this, things like that. So what I'm doing, my mom has a hurt shoulder. This is my mom, by the way. Hello. Hi. Mother. Um, between the sets, I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to push into this. Put, and put it into a position that usually hurts. So about right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just hold here for 10, 15 seconds. One more time. Push. This is about the position that it hurts. Should I go like down or up a little bit? Right here. How's it feel? Pretty painful? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Okay, so then relax. So yeah. Alright, grab the bar. So she was having pain with these before, and now we're just putting her in a better position. I have her in a more supinated position, so the shoulder's not out here. Go down. How's that feel? Great. <laughs> Much better? Much Less better. pain? Less pain. So wow. basically what just happened is all the bad shit that was going on here, for layman's term, is self-correcting because we're taking some sort of well, crossball or my thumb or whatever. You see those fucking little guns, that, like dildo guns that go like this. You're putting it in the area and you're telling your body, there's pain here. And it's just fixing it. Right? It's still good? Yep. You're good. With this technique. Three more, more. One. Good. Oh, yeah. Push close to failure. Come on. Two. Yes. One more, more. Beautiful. Good. And then rack. So now what she can do between her sets is basically, you know, get, get the lactate out. You're good to go. Before she goes again, she can just take her own finger, jam it in there with a lacrosse ball or whatever, and do the same thing I did. Pull for 10 seconds. Push on that area, apply pressure, down, again, and then go into her set. And she can keep doing this through each session where she's doing some sort of pulling exercise or whatever's hurting, and it'll correct it over time. Good stuff. Good stuff. Damn, son! <laughs> yeah, I have to. Otherwise, it like does it weird shit. Ah. Oh wow, that's easy. Absolutely, so is YouTube. <laughs> yeah, there.
push it into this. People wonder what it takes to get big calves. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick. Let's go. What the fuck is this? <laughs> there you have it. Big parents. <laughs> so, I found out where I get my income mobility from. <laughs> it's very poor. So it hurts. So most people, I just see Charlie and Mike putting their fucking ankles down here because they have decent income mobility. Mine and my mom's really bad. But that doesn't mean you can't get four range of motion on the machine. You just put your feet a little higher and put your toes out. It's really gonna help with the mobility and the hips and the ankles. So she's gonna do a set here. I'm gonna see how deep she can get on this machine. Regardless of the mobility issue. All the way. Beautiful. Z177 St. Louis is number one hit music station. Sorry, there's not like intuitive for like females. But there's better squatters and better these types of movements. Her knees are just perfectly out the whole time. There's no valgus in her knees. It's like natural. Beautiful. Pushing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. Keep breathing. Good. Two more, and then you're gonna rest at the top for a couple seconds. One, one more. Two, rest. Three. One, down. Three, two. Go, go, go. Yeah. Woo!